uh, what I'll do now is speak a little bit about one project of mine that is very specific and that is in market prediction. What people normally do is try to investigate whether markets are efficient. That's been an academic problem in finance for the last 50, 60 years. And uh, a market is efficient if any information that comes out is accurately and uh, efficiently impounded into prices. If this happens, then markets that are efficient aren't predictable because all the information that can be used to predict has already been impounded into the prices. However, a lot of the testing of whether markets are predictable has been based on limited information. Usually if I want to predict whether the Sensex or the S&P 500 index uh, will go up or down tomorrow, what I would normally do is take the historical series and see whether there's a mathematical pattern there that will actually allow me uh, to, to predict what will happen tomorrow or next week or next month in terms of whether the index will go up or down. However, this is a limited sort of uh, endeavor or a test because it's not taking into account thousands of other pieces of information that could be used in a prediction model of this sort. So one attempt to do that is to actually create pictures of the market. The way you create a picture of a market is to create a picture just like any other picture as a collection of pixels. So what I proceeded to do was construct images of the markets and I took all the 500 stocks in the S&P 500, looked at each one over 30 days and that gives me 500 into 30 different numbers based on how much return each of these stocks had. So that's 15,000 pixels and I can think of that as an image. If I take this and process it through the same image recognition software that, that has been sort of well worked out for regular image recognition, uh, I can attach it to a data set of historical data and try and figure out whether those images will tell me whether the market will go up or down tomorrow. Now, if you don't have any ability to predict with these images, then you should get the same average as the times the market goes up. So it turns out the S&P 500 in the last 55 years has gone up on 52% of the days and gone down on 40%, 48% of the days. Uh, with uh, this image recognition technology, my approach now has raised that accuracy to about 60%. And so it does seem to be that there is information left over that doesn't allow uh, uh, markets to be unpredictable in some sense we can actually go ahead and find a little bit more predictably than we could uh, than sheer random chance. So the age-old theories that markets are efficient and have stood the test of time as being efficient are now up for question because we were working on efficiency tests based on limited data sets but now we can work on tests with much larger data sets using image recognition technology on the markets themselves to find higher predictability. The but there are many, many other uh, security series like small stocks, commodities, and various other types of uh, price series in, in uh, financial markets that might actually be much more predictable. And so in some sense, this research opens up an area for bringing in a slightly different technology into the finance space to try and get uh, better outcomes and, and higher predictability. Mm -hmm.